hey how dark it is in here. Are you excited for this Thursday's lesson? Yes. Yes? Yeah, so literally, it, there's no room for cantering, there's no room for anything, but I'm sure you could come up with a really good lesson for them that involves things that they need to learn that they can't. I actually was thinking about it on my way here. Good, I knew you would be. <laughs> Yeah, me. they want to work. They want to get going. So this is Finn's first ride since the chiropractor. Oh, yeah. So I'm hoping to see a little bit of changes. So I think it's safe to say that the jaw being out is probably related to him throwing his head and not his jaw being out. Not him throwing his head because his jaw is out. And the girls are like, oh, I want to ride. Well, Willow's like, I'm staying behind my mom. Mm -hmm. It protect me from the big bad boys. Horses are ready to get out and get moving, but that's gonna happen soon. Outside, this is how crash happens. What we'll crash? When I was riding Finn. What? There was oh, a oh, when they ran into each other. Brandon oh. was on Tex and she was on Finn, and they almost collided. Yeah, and Gabby almost ran into. Oh, okay. You passed left to left. Which hand is your left hand, ladies? Hold it up. So that means that you would stay on the rail. And keep your left hand closest to the person passing you. That's right, because it was my barn and that was my rules. So not my barn, not my rules. We have to learn to ride with other people. It's, which is a big struggle when you are used to riding and having to ride away. I'm pretty sure when Finn has energy at shows, he's going to try and Mm. He's not a galloper. He's not a galloper, honey. So I think more than anything, you're gonna get the fast trot. If I put them out in the grass and just left them out there, it, this gr the grass would be a big mud pit right now, right? Yeah. That's fine. That actually works better for him than trying to go on the lopsided hill. Finn could care less. He's like, I'm a mountain girl. It's true, a storm is not a stock breed. He's no. like, um, he's, he's a show pony that thinks. A fancy boy. Yeah. This one here is a mountain goat. Yeah. <laughs> so Finn does do the thing where he chases the other horse in front of him. So shows are going to be interesting. <laughs> She's, she's like, I do not want this fin. I want the old hurt fin. Take back that chiropractic adjustment. I feel like we need to go through a racetrack. <laughs> Thumbs on top. It's actually got a really nice trot now. So do you notice a difference since his adjustment? Other than he's faster? He's more fluid in the back end. Oh, that's good. And right now, the head thing right now is Sophie trying to hold him back. Yeah. So they're fighting each other. Yeah, they are. Once that gets itself worked out. Now he hasn't tossed his head. Yeah, he was the whole first half. When she was walking. When she was walking, yeah. Yeah, I think it's muscle memory. I think that his jaw was actually causing him to shake his head to he was in pain. All right. That... And I think that he's just learned that that's going to hurt, so he's afraid it's going to hurt. Oh, so he yeah. he has to reteach himself yeah. that it's not actually painful. Yeah, that's happened to me before. Slow your rising. Yeah, she said his jaw was very, very out. Think slow. How slow can you go? How slow? Okay, you're can going you go? faster, I feel like. Tighten up your thighs. Breathe. Remember, you're not holding him back. Use the reins, release the reins. Use the reins, release. Oh. Hurt me. Oh, he Hi. hurt his mama. That is crazy. This cat was out in the field somewhere and heard Fiona calling him and came running. You're He's like, nobody loves me like you. Hi, baby. Rising trot. Change your rise. You need to start focusing on that, Missy. Shorten your reins, get your hands out of your lap. I think a lot of what's going on with her is she's working with the speed and trying to work on that. So she's. Now your rising hand, shorten your reins. So she's letting everything else go while she tries to figure the speed. This is why he's energetic. Shorten your reins. So that gets you further over to the horse in front of you. Half hold, half hold, half hold. Every stride. We're not tugging on him. We're tightening our thighs. We're squeezing our reins. We're breathing out. Those things come together. Tired. I know. It's a small arena. I know. Makes you both work. 
Yeah, there. It looks better. Slow your posting. Use your thighs and your little squeezes and your breathing. There are probably things you can learn from an in, from a small arena. All right, ladies, we're gonna circle this end using the pole. Ooh. <laughs> She can't even get any words out. She's like, oh, I'm not. <laughs> Big half hole. Lean back and then let him go. Do you want Storm to go behind her again? You need to kick. I, I can't imagine Finn with a whip. Oh, God. Little circle. And get oh. Good job, Sophie. Oh, don't worry about me. Oh, okay. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about Finn jumping. Big half hole. Although I'm not worried about Finn jumping because I think he does good. Her fear is, takes a back seat to her pride as a mama to this jumping boy. I know. So I was like, oh my God, Hendrix, I will follow you. I know. So I've never seen this happen before where an animal is so connected to a human. Uh, so Ruby runs around. Ruby does. Ruby is like that with Gabby, absolutely. But this this is like one of those extreme situations. So no matter where Hendrix is when Fiona arrives, she makes this sound and he comes from nowhere. And today, I'm like, I'm sorry, he's gone, he's not here, like you're not gonna see him. He, she started calling for him and then she let it go for like 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes later, he came through that door, but he came at a run. Like you could tell, he was like, oh my God, I hear you. And he flew to her. Like he didn't come running in and just smell around and look around. He came through that door, raced to the chair and jumped in her lap so fast, like he knew. Is she your favorite? Is she? Aww. Let's trot, and I want you to go over the center of every pole. With the exception of this one, I want you to go over the green closest to the brick wall. Yes. So green. This one is white. Go over the white spot. And go over the green spot. And then the green spot. Okay, so there's a problem. That Sophie wants to jump everything. She's trying to trick her horse into jumping. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Because then you get this crazy beast that doesn't want to listen. Change your rising fiddle. We need to remember how to do that again on your own without me telling you. You used to be really good at it. Shorten your rings up. I'm really Okay, so when you go to turn, you're yanking on him. I want you to think a little bit slower and a little bit softer and slow your riding. Sophie's just getting super excited about doing everything and her oh. riding. Her, but her riding is telling him that's why he's winding up on her. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh listen. When I said <laughs> that Sophie can't do anything with this horse because she winds him up just by looking at him. She's super excited. It's not that she's doing it negatively. It's not a bad, it's just a wee! <laughs> No. That's all that's happening right now. I don't know why she's like that though. Like, I think she's addicted to the, the fast of him. Like, I think she's getting. Yes, but we need to have balance and rhythm before we can have fast and jumping. If we don't have balance and rhythm, you're going to get hurt. And you don't want to get hurt. So. I know you better than that. That's better, Gabby. Look at him elevate those shoulders. Look at him elevate! So we're pulling our horse to the wall with our outside reins. Sophie, we need to lift our inside and push him to the wall with our leg. Inside leg, inside rein. There you go. I would rather you miss a pole and get a bend. Inside leg, show him over. Good girl. He has to think, doesn't he? Oh, that okay. Draw's a little nicer. Oh my gosh, he's actually thinking about what he's doing. <laughs> now my horse is being like this. Inside leg. The plan is, you're gonna halt at each pole for five seconds. 
One, two, three, four, five. In the short ones, you're going to walk. In the big ones, you're going to trot. But you still have to stop at each pole. So you're going to walk to this pole, stop for five. Walk to that pole, stop for five. Trot to that pole, stop for five. Trot to this pole, stop for five. You got it? Finn so, saying yes. Finn's <laughs> like, let's do it! Finn gets it. Trot, trot, walk, walk. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> His yeah, job feels better. Uh, what? His job feels better. Yeah. I, he's never done that. No. Before. I feel like, look at him flapping his lips. He's like, it can move. Come back up to his pole and begin. So walk over here. Yep. Stop on the next one and count to five. You're walking, yeah. Shorten your reins. One, two, three, four, and five. Walk to the next one. Stop before you hit it this time, Sophie. One, two, three, four, five. Trot, Sophie, go, go, go! Breathe. Oh, you One, missed your stop. Two, three, four. Wait there, so wait there, wait there, Gabby. It should technically put you guys perfectly even with one of you trotting and one of you walking, so you're always at stop, stop. You, he knows how to walk. Use your word. Make that pony stop when you're ready. Now you've done five, trot down here. Go ahead. And get ready. Whoa. One. See, he can stop. You just have to make it happen. Nope. Go and go back. Toby, your horse's superpower is stopping. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna wait here, Toby. Good choice. Walk. Walk. Walk the short side, trot the big one. And you and your sister should all, there you go! I know, it didn't say it was gonna be an easy challenge. It's. You're not even paying attention anymore. It, it seems simple, but it's harder than you think. It's not an easy challenge. What does it teach? Patience. Transitions? No, so it teaches your horse transitions, it teaches your horse patience, it teaches your horse to listen to the rider. It teaches your horse impulsion. And it teaches your horse to not expect what's next. Correct. Anticipation. Yeah, anticipation because our horse is all, like especially Storm, he feels like he's got it all figured out. He's looking handsome though. Tighten your knees, look up. Don't stare at him. Yes. Nice and slow. Click, click, click. See how he's more relaxed? He's expecting to have to stop. He's frustrated because he doesn't know what you want. There we go. Thumbs on top. Focus up on where you're going. Up to the next pole. Always looking up. I like this trot. Keep your posting slow, Sophie. Look how nice this is. Only took us the entire lesson to get it. I feel like there's a lot of learning between Sophie and Finn that needs to happen. Oh, yeah. Sophie's biggest struggle is because she's such a big mover and he's fast, she gets working so hard her hands get confused. Definitely trotting nicer. Definitely a lot forward today. Slow your posting. Leg, leg, inside leg. I hate that he throws his head up to be ridden. He knows how to use that leg. We just haven't been using it with him a lot. So get him over off of it. Half halt, half halt, breathe, close the leg. He needs to slow down. Well, there's a standard there, dum dum. Maybe he needs his eyes checked. Hands forward, slow your posting, half halt every stride. Breathing, tighten the thigh, squeeze the fingers, every stride.
So what did you like about your lesson? Jumping. The first time over the pole, he jumped. Yeah. And I, that was my favorite. Yeah, Selfie's turned into a jumping. She's got the jumping bug. What did you like about your lesson? The poles, because it was easy. It was just trot and stop. I would literally trot storm and then poles right there. So you would go. I, I found it easier for rounding. <gasps> Yay! I found it easier for rounding because. You felt he carried himself better? Yes. Wait. That's, he lifts his front end up to go over the poles, and then there's another pole, so he has to keep his front end up to the pole. And then he's like. Oh, wow. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.